The suspect in Tuesday's deadly attack in New York has been charged with terrorism. Saifullo Saipov is said to have been inspired by Islamic State and even requested the group's flag be hung in his hospital room. It seems Donald Trump wants to take matters out of the court's hands, tweeting that rather than a flag, the man should be handed the death penalty. The U.S. leader is also open to uh, sending the attacker to Guantanamo Bay. Trump's also pushing for a tougher vetting program for newcomers, uh, as the suspect was from Uzbekistan. For a moment here, let's uh, recap Tuesday's deadly event. Saipov had been planning this for a number of weeks. He did this in the name of ISIS. Well, 29-year-old Saifullah Saipov arrived in America in 2010. He did so legally amid the diversity visa lottery, the program that Trump is now vowing to close following the incident on Halloween. Saipov got married in Ohio, which is where he worked as a truck driver. But most recently, he lived in Patterson, New Jersey. So Arti's Caleb Mopan went to that city to find out what people there think of the man alleged to be behind the deadly attack. Now we're here in Patterson, New Jersey, a former industrial hub known for its large immigrant population. Say Philo Saipov actually lived in this apartment building. Uh, the building manager tells us uh, that he had a wife and two children. Residents don't remember much about him and say relations between Muslims and non-Muslims in the neighborhood have been generally good. Come around here once in a while, you know, it's quiet, and I'm pretty shocked about the whole situation that happened. I wouldn't expect it from here. So, like, I, I always thought, like, it was just from, like, different areas. Like, it's, it's really close, like, literally two blocks away from my house. Can't imagine it. I used to work here in this area, literally two blocks from here. And uh, it's pretty sad to see something like this happen, and it really hits home. You know, you don't think it's going to happen here, but fortunately it did. Saipov's residence is just around the corner from this mosque, the same mosque that was being surveilled by the New York City Police Department in 2005. It's actually one of many in a New York City Police Department surveillance program that spanned across several states and was widely criticized by state and local officials. Police seem to have shut down the roads, a heavy police presence here outside the mosque. What do you think about the government monitoring and watching mosques? Um, I feel like it's not right. They shouldn't do it just because a couple Muslim people are terrorists. And I believe, like, if you're supposed to surveil them, you should surveil, like, every religious, like, area. Well, this is an unfortunate thing. But uh, the government has to do what it has to do. Now, one of the worshippers at the mosque, Abu Muhammad, says he remembers Saipov very clearly. He's quiet. He respects everybody in the mosque. You know what I mean? He doesn't ask questions to the imam. People don't know him that much because they, he doesn't talk to nobody, so they don't know him. That's why. While Muhammad offered condolences to the victims, he had some rather radical sounding opinions about who's to blame for Islamic terrorism. Every hour, 10, 20 people die hourly, I'm talking about, in Middle East. Why nobody say anything? If Mr. Trump want the, the, this happen to stop, he has to stop bombing Muslims. The war against Islam since 1990 until now. If I be living in Mosul or in Iraq or in, you know, I mean, or in Syria, whatever, and somebody kill my wife and my kids, my family, I know this NATO or America kill my family. I'm going to be a terrorist. I'm going to go crazy. I'm going to go for revenge. It's a simple. In the aftermath of the New York attacks, officials say that they will increase the security measures and monitoring of Muslims in the area. Locals say they have nothing to be afraid of as they've done nothing wrong. We have nothing to hide. We proved to NYPD and the FBI, the Homeland Security, that we are nothing to hide. Our door, our open door policy is being uh, done and they have nothing on anybody that attended any of the mosques in Paris and uh, 